it's cake and whimsy and we're at Roseland Cottage at the annual craft and art show <laughs> it's a big old craft art juried show that we really enjoy at a place that we've taken you to once yeah. already the Roseland Cottage so we'll, we'll link that video below if you want to check out the inside of the cottage yeah, absolutely come and see what's up So because a lot of these are artists, it's hard to get close up pictures of uh, most of these booths. So we're just going to kind of film on the sidelines here. And then tell you about some of the stuff we saw later. Exactly. Don't want you to think we forgot about you, but uh, particularly some of, a lot of artists get very unhappy about filming their stuff. They don't want you to copy them. I kind of get that. I really respect a, a cake person with a cupcake style tent. That is pretty cool. That was a fun little row. Look at that. We're seeking shelter beneath the tree. Introducing Jess. Quiet corner fudge. Oh yeah. I have no idea what kind of tree that is, but it's really interesting. <laughs> it's it's like tufts of cotton that aren't cotton. <laughs> These are some of my favorite uh, craft fair type things. Where they look super warm. There, where they just feel so so warm. Oh my god! I like the slipper ones. Look at these. It's a really good use for old uh, grill tanks. <laughs> I like the little fireman over there too. Well, he's ready for the grill. <laughs> I think we're on to the back side here. There's 167 vendors today, so quite a lot to see and experience here. Just to prove we are actually at Roseland Cottage for this festival. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> that was uh, that was interesting. Uh, it did not turn out quite the way we expected. Uh, Sorry, we didn't get a lot of stuff uh, footage for you to see. It was fun. Super crowded. Very crowded. That was part of the problem, actually. Yes. It's a good problem for them. More problematic for us since we couldn't show you much. Je Jess had to save somebody's life on the way oh, out. It did not do great things for my back. Uh, we were, you watched it, so you'd probably explain it better but than I would. Did, you did let a, a woman who stepped on a crack and twisted her foot and came careening towards you use your body as a soft cushioning platform. She came careening in a very slow motion kind of way. Well, the, the towards was very abrupt and hard, but then the slowly <laughs> falling down while, like, falling at me. That was awkward. Yeah. Yeah, it was a tough close to the day, but uh, yeah. but it was a fun, recognizable place. They had a lot of great craftspeople there. Um, it was, you know, I was regretting that a lot of them really aren't comfortable with having people photograph their works, and I kind of get that. Well, they don't want people to steal their ideas and be able to copy them. But I wanted them to see so they could copy. <laughs> I wasn't As someone copy. who used to do crafting for a living and had their ideas stolen from people, I still let people take pictures of mine because it's fun and I like that they like them. Besides, nobody could do it the way you did it and that mattered. True. You had to have that combination of creativity and absolute obsession over detail <laughs> in order to make it work properly. And other people who tried to copy you didn't make that work at all. It was, it was very noticeable. But I also support everyone's right to protect their own work. Very politically correct. Well done. Well, that's true. I know. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> so if you enjoy these excursions, some, some that we get to film more than others, mm -hmm. why not give us a like, subscribe? We get to see a lot more of them. We have a pretty good backlog of things you could watch that are similarly themed where we got to do a lot more photography so 
And now, let's frost the cake. cake.